Within Starfield, you can actually purchase, upgrade, or fully build your own spaceship via modules. The thing is, a lot of this isn't really explained when you jump in game and try it for yourself. So I've spent several hours of trial and error learning about this ship modification system, so I'm going to wrap together these tips to hopefully make your life a lot easier and save you a bunch of time. Number one, you can purchase pre-made ships from any ship services technician at any landing zone of a major city. For example, in New Atlantis, you can just land your ship and talk to this guy and ask to see what ships are for sale. These are pre-made, ready-to-go options, but they can be quite pricey, especially early on. If you just want to get something that works quickly and you have the credits, these will work good enough. I'm still trying to find the best one out of all of the options, so let me know if you've already found it. You can modify and upgrade your current ship for a quick and easy way to upgrade the different modules that you have. Just ask the same NPC to modify your ship, then press the upgrade ship button. You'll see the options to upgrade specific parts such as your weapon modules, your engines, your reactor and your grav drive. This is like a swap and replace system without actually having to place and position anything. So you can easily buy and replace a higher quality version of something on your ship and it will instantly switch it out for you and you just pay the credits. Number three, if you actually want to build a ship, you will need to know some important things because it will save you a bunch of time figuring it out. I built a full ship and had to redo all of it because of some limitations that I wasn't aware of. For example, you can only have one reactor on your ship, so you can't just slap on more reactors to get more energy to fill up the modules in your ship. You need to stick with one reactor and one type and then get the best version possible for more maximum energy. Number four, it's super important to know and understand about the reactor and module class. You will need to rank up your piloting skill to three and four if you want to use class B and C ships. These are different ranks or classes of ship that dictate how much firepower and mobility they have. A class is described as low firepower and high mobility. B is for moderate firepower and mobility while C is for high firepower and low mobility. This is important because not only do you need the pilot rank leveled up, but it will also affect your reactor and modules, which takes us to number five, to match the class or lower on your reactor and modules. Modules such as weapons have a class ranking. So to use a class A module, you will need a class A reactor. To use a class B module, you will need to use a class B reactor and so on. But reactors can also use class modules lower than them. So for example, a B-class reactor can use both A and B-class modules. Meanwhile, a class C reactor can use A, B and C modules. So C-class is kind of like the most versatile reactor for your ship. Number six, you can only have three types of weapon modules and you must assign them in groups. You can have multiples such as two lasers, two missiles and two ballistics, but you will need to group them together so they shoot together in pairs or trios. You can assign these to WO, W1 and W2 in the ship menu and it will place them in the energy spread of your ship in the top left hand corner. Number seven, much like reactors, you can only have one shield module at a time. So you can't just slap on a load of extra shield modules to max out your shield's capacity. You'll need to get a higher quality version because you can only use one. Number eight, all modules must be attached to a ship at snap points. You cannot just freely place them. Select a module and then place it in the area that turns green. Number nine, you can see if your ship's mass is too high, which will cause mobility issues in the ship builder. This error as well as others can be seen by pressing the flight check button when building a ship, which will show you any issues your current build has. Mobility is fixed by adding more engines. Number 10. Your docker module will need to be on an outer point of your ship. This is kind of obvious because you need to fly flush to a ship to actually dock and board, but it basically means your docker module should always be at the edge or top of your ship. So hopefully these tips really help you out, and if you have any extra tips yourself, then hook us up in the comments down below so we can all learn together. So check out the two videos on screen now, or check out the channel because we're going to have loads of content coming your way soon and more Starfield guides. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.